Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. Building up Bernie. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. There have been a number of articles saying that Senator Sanders, no longer a fringe candidate, but a real threat to Hillary Clinton. That's because a new Des Moines Register poll has Sanders only two points behind Clinton in Iowa, and the real clear politics average has him just 13 points behind nationally. Finally, in New Hampshire, the real clear average has Sanders up by 11 points over Hillary Clinton. In just a few moments, Ed Henry will analyze why Mrs. Clinton's campaign is tottering, but I can tell you why Bernie Sanders is gaining some momentum. And by the way, Talking Points does not come to bury Sanders, but to praise him. Kind of. <laughs> In contrast to Mrs. Clinton, the senator is energetic, appears to be honest, and is not the usual phony politician. Problem is, oh, Bernie, 74, really is a hardcore socialist. Democratic socialism means that we must reform a political system which is corrupt, that we must create an economy that works for all, not just the very wealthy. Now, that doesn't sound too bad, but here are the facts. According to analysis by the Wall Street Journal, Sanders backs at least $18 trillion in new spending, federal spending over the next decade. Catastrophic, because the nation already has a $19 trillion debt. According to analysis by the conservative Washington Examiner, Sanders also wants to raise taxes in America by $20 trillion bucks over 10 years. As we pointed out Monday, if Sanders begins taxing American corporations more, many of them will simply leave the country, taking thousands of jobs with them. Remember, the USA already has the highest corporate tax rate in the developed world. Santa says he'll close many tax loopholes, and that's fine. But it all comes back to one thing. The more money you take away from individuals, the less they spend in the marketplace. The more money you take away from companies, the less they hire, and the less research they will do. The goal of socialism is to basically flatten out the American economy so everybody is pretty much the same. Look, as I said on Monday, if Sanders were elected president, he'd never get this stuff passed in Congress. But he could do a lot of damage by executive order alone. There's no way the feds can run the economy, and that's what Bernie wants. Now, why are millions of Americans buying into that? Two basic reasons. Some have no clue what Senator Sanders really stands for. They don't know anything about socialism or about him. For example, Bernie Sanders has been in the Senate for nine years. In that time, only one, one significant bill with his name on it has passed, revamping the Department of Veterans Affairs. Before that, he was in the House of Representatives for 16 years. The highlight of all those years was his brokering a deal with his pals in Venezuela to import heating oil to America. So you can see Mr. Sanders not exactly a major player in Congress for 25 years. But again, he's honest and he's not afraid to say what he believes. Now, there's no question that the liberal mainstream media is getting very nervous about Hillary Clinton. Seems almost every day there's a new revelation about her ethical dilemmas, plural dilemmas. On a campaign trail, she's less than inspiring, trying to run as a continuation of Barack Obama. When many voters understand, especially with the stock market melting down, that Mr. Obama's economic policies have not exactly strengthened America. The propaganda says Mr. Obama saved us from a depression. But take a look at where we are. Your investments are getting hammered. Salaries are low for workers. And the future, at least this year, very bleak. When stocks blow up, all of us get hurt. Do you understand that, Bernie? Do you understand that, Barack? So Hillary Clinton running on more Obama policy is folly, and Sanders knows it. One more thing. If the senator does win the Democratic nomination, still not likely, that would be a GOP dream. 